Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Samuel here with us who has been recently placed at Latent View as a part of his campus placements at VIT. So this was a dream job and he is here with us to share his interview experience with us. Now let's move ahead and look at the eligibility criteria. All branches uh, with a CGPA of 6.5 or 65% in 10th and 12th and 6.5 or 65% in the pursuing degree and also in the undergrad, if the student is currently pursuing his post-graduation, were eligible for this job, uh, provided they had no standing careers. Now let's move ahead and talk to Samuel and understand his experience. So hi Samuel, uh, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you, thank you so much. Sorry. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, my name is Samil Huck. I am from Kolkata, West Bengal. I am currently pursuing my fourth year of electronics and communication degree from Federal Institute of Technology, Chennai. Uh, okay, so you can now tell us about the uh, hiring process, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of? Uh, the hiring process was a very pretty long. It was like a one month process. And okay. if there were like first there, there was examination about aptitude and quantitative aptitude mathematics hmm. on uh, the CBC platform. Hmm. It was a two hours long test. Hmm. Uh, so after the test, people were 400 people were shortlisted okay. for the GD, GD round. Hmm. So group discussion was there and uh, with, after in, from each group they took 10 members and uh, for them game based assessment was there. Uh, we had to give a one hour game, long game based assessment, there were like 20, 20 games to be played. After the game based assessment, uh, a WhatsApp link came that you have been shortlisted, so you should join. So we joined the group and uh, uh, after one or two weeks, uh, we got the first technical interview link. Hmm. Uh, the technical interview as it's a data analytics company, so uh, the major focus was on SQL. Hmm. So he asked me two SQL questions and basics of DPMS, like okay. normalization form. After, after the first technical interview, uh, there was no response. Uh, we waited for like one one week. Then again, second te technical interview came, and uh, it comprised of uh, ER based questions on SQL, and uh, it was uh, pretty tough than the first round. Uh, so I was it, I failed difficulty in answering one of the questions, uh, but somehow I cracked that in round also. Hmm. And uh, after uh, three four days, HR interview came and uh, I was shortlisted for that also hmm. and then uh, they, she had told me that there were if you attended two technical interviews then you are for eligible for dream 6.7 uh, LPA job hmm. Hmm. or if you attended three technical interviews you, you are eligible for super dream job but hmm. I gave only two technical interviews so I was eligible for dream job and uh, it had no internship so I took it as a backup and uh, gave the HR interview very nicely so uh, within one month I was shortlisted and my name was there in the list. Okay, uh, that's great and again thank you for sharing your experience and it was great. Um, would you like to, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into super dream companies? Uh, yeah, my, as my CGP was less than 9 so it, in starting it was very difficult for me to get into the companies as we were getting shortlisted but uh, we were not able to solve all the boards and all. Hmm. So. It was very difficult uh, to face the interview also, but uh, it, it, it main thing is you should be patient and all, hmm. and you should more focus more on DSA part because that contains a majority part. After giving many exams, you will slowly understand that they are also asking SQL. Hmm. So a basic understanding and SQL by watching YouTube videos you can develop. Hmm. I used to follow. Uh, I watched a four hours long YouTube video for SQL to understand the basics of it and practice question about in lead code. Hmm. We can click on lead code and practice on every day. And uh, coming to the coding part, uh, the coding part you should uh, revise topic wise because they fo focus on more uh, prominent algorithm like cadence algorithm they mostly ask. Hmm. Like uh, those are already established. Right. And, uh, and uh, coming and other than that, uh, your friends and family can support you because there will be a mental toll for you that you are not getting placed and your friends are getting placed. You should not be impatient about it and jump into a very, jump into an offer that you won't like to right. join. Right. So you should be patient enough so that you can give. Till uh, after in October month also I may get uh, 14 lakh companies coming and picking up students. So that's great for you. As an EC student, I'm very grateful. Right. Okay. Okay. That's great. Congratulations again and thank you for sharing your experience. Yeah, yeah thank you. It's nice sharing.